Welcome back to the vlog. Okay, so this tea from uh, Sips Sips by like I was like I'm gonna make some, so I have some caffeination on the way to work, and I was like I'll just like make two bags and like leave one for Megan, and I wasn't gonna I was just gonna let her do a reaction, but then I smelled it and holy crap it I mean like it's called dark chocolate cookie, yeah it it smells like a hundred percent like a chocolate cookie, it's crazy. All right, so I was just putting uh, Nathan in his booster seat. I already saw the other side. But that one day, when I said something about the wheels turning, that could be why. It sank in the mud and the mud hardened. And on top of the mud hardening, it's also cold enough where it probably froze a bit. So, let's uh, see what happens. And yes, even after it's brewed, that tea smells amazing. Cause yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't think I, no, I couldn't turn it even if I tried. Oh, it wasn't actually that bad. Okay, like literally like this gradual curve I'm going around probably like 500 yards behind me, not a flake. Like, I'm not even joking. I came, came, started coming around this corner and it was like, it was kind of like going into a wall of fog. It was like, what the heck, it's snowing. The funny thing is, is like the forecast called for no snow at any point today, here or Helena or anywhere in between. Fun. I bet Elk Park is gonna be lovely. But I mean, it's like, it, that's one of the things with me that's kind of stupid. I'm like, no distance. Like, I mean, I, like, well, I mean, I guess you just saw the sign that's the state capital. That's like where you switch from I-90 to I-15. And, uh, yeah, so like, literally, you're like, I'm not even a tiny bit out of view. And I'm like, well, I'm committed now. It's like, if it ends up like this, like even halfway to Helena. And then if it's enough where it sticks or it's like this on the way home, it's such a stupid thing when I could just like text and be like, hey, never mind, uh, I'm working from home today. Okay, so I uh, jinxed that because I was, uh, I was like, oh yeah, Elk Park will be terrible. And then like Elk Park was like kind of bad and I had a couple spots where like even going like 60, it kind of just made me like, wiggle, but then, like, the moment I come off Elk Park, I hit this. The funny thing is, is there's been no snow in the forecast anywhere between Butte and Helena. Where, I guess, where you can set your weather, too, because I guess you can't, uh, yeah, maybe, but I was gonna say, you probably can't set it to, like, Bernice. It's just, like, it's like the thing last week made it, like, when I was looking at the weather last week, it was, like, supposed to snow basically non-stop until, like, Wednesday. And then now it's like, oh, it's like since like Saturday it hasn't, it's been like, no, no, it ain't gonna snow again at all anytime in like the next seven days. And then you go to start driving and it's like, oh yeah, it's not gonna snow. The roads were bone dry yesterday. Okay, so as abrupt as the snow started, like, I mean, if there wasn't that little bit of crest behind me, I could show you the rear view mirror and still see snow. Like, it's maybe a quarter, well, now, probably a half mile behind me, but when I started recording, it was, like, maybe a hundred yards behind me. And it wasn't a gradual transition. It was, like, the stuff I was showing in the video before to this bone dry, like, it, like, the transition was, like, 20 feet. It was crazy. And there's a plow. I mean, I'm assuming he's probably going where the snow was, but, like... I think you can, oh, there's another one. You could see it in the video, like there was an exit, like, I mean, unless they're being dispatched from down this way somewhere, why wouldn't they have like turned around there to go back? Even though there were already two plows there, cause it's only like, probably like 12 miles where the road's bad. So, I mean, they really only need like two plows cause you know, they can make it past one direction then make it past the other. Well, I should have tried to record the transition because this was pretty abrupt too. 
It's almost like I'm on a checkerboard. Or it's like white. Oh, black. White. I mean, usually it's red and black, but you know, there's black and white ones, and it's like it's like an abrupt edge, but like between two squares on a checkerboard or chessboard. And I mean, and then asphalt's black, snow is white. I mean, this is like the thing I think the video just posted about the snow being kind of ugly. Cause like, look at like it's kind of hard to tell probably on the camera. But like, look at how dirty it already is. Like just on the road, like it hasn't even been here that long, and it's already like brown. So maybe I guess brown and black tan and black something like that I don't know black and tan that's a drink I don't know it makes like two different types of beer I think it's like just any sort of stout and any sort of ale maybe I don't know I don't know if I've ever had one I think it's good I think I have once and it was good and I've never had it again okay so the weather thing I might have to give it the benefit of the doubt because it wasn't snowing in Butte itself it was like snowing on East Ridge, so like on the outskirt of town, like it was like right there. But then by Bernice, it stopped. Like that's I don't even think like that's not even a town. There's no way that you'd be able to look that up as a weather place. And then it still wasn't snowing again by Basin or Boulder. Then like literally a half mile from Boulder, and I mean you can see Boulder Hill is clearly socked in pretty good. And then like looking at the road report, and like because once I was going, I'm like, what the hell? Like it's not supposed to be snowing. Um, but yeah, now, I mean, as, if, as long as it stops by, like, Jefferson City, so Jefferson City, Montana City, Clancy, and Helena don't have snow, technically it will have been right, but it was snowing almost everywhere in between. Okay, I know I'm still a decent distance away, but I'm starting to have doubts that it isn't going to be snowing in Helena. Well, distance one out, if you look over there, there's kind of a clear spot above Helena, so, yeah. I mean, the roads are still terrible here, so, but I mean, if the roads dry up in the next, like, three miles, it will have technically not snowed in any of the towns or points of interest, I guess, is the closest you can call Bernice. I don't call it a town. I don't know why it's even named. I think it might, what if it's just, like, the campground, if that's, like, that little draw is, like, the Bernice draw or something. I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. For a place I've been so much, it's kind of weird. I don't know exactly what the reason for the name is. So, yeah, it was right that it wasn't, wasn't going to snow here, clearly. But in Montana City, there was a little bit. And probably, like, in Jefferson City and Clancy also, but not much. I figured out what the nose on the new Tundras looks like. Looks like if there was a Transformers incest baby and an insect incest baby and those two got together and had a ba had two babies and then they had an incest baby. That's what the nose on the tundras looks like. It's kind of funny how well over a month and that part still isn't covered. I mean, especially with as bad as it is right now, that part's still not. That is getting pretty bad. This is where Matt's tire was before he left. Like, that's crazy. So I keep forgetting to vlog this Subaru because I find it fascinating. So here it is. So I'm, I'm finally making my tea because I was fasting for blood work. So it's like 11, I'm making waffles and tea and an orange. But anyway, uh, Matt told me to vlog my reaction to the tea and to smell it. So apparently it smells good. So we're going to start by that. I have the tea bag in the cup, so. It smells really good. We'll have to see when I put the water in if it changes the smell, and then I'll have to taste it for you guys. I'll check back. Okay. That smells like cookies. Ooh, that tastes like cookies. Holy crap. Wow, that's really good. I approve. I like my decision I made. The place that does the giant chess is uh, prepared for Easter. Easter bunnies on the night. 
Okay, that bumper's off a full-size truck. That's uh, interesting. But it also has a, it's not a very big one. It's like a one-inch cowl induction hood. And it's also got like LED headlights. But with the, it's like, when you look at the front, you're like, okay, with the cowl induction hood and stuff, is it a sleeper? But then you get to the back and you're like, oh my God, it has like a super not cracked bumper and then that weird, super extra bulbous, ugly topper. So it's a very interesting, I'm trying to determine what the, its deal is. So there's a parking garage near my office that has a sign that says compact vehicles only. Look in there and there's a, uh, an Outback, a Gladiator, a uh, Tahoe. I didn't see what else, but I mean, like, those three kind of stuck out. Because it's like, you know, they're talking about, like, a real compact, like a Chevy Aveo or a Toyota Yaris. Like, none of them are even a tiny bit close. It is kind of crazy how hard the Bronco is trying to be a Wrangler. I mean, like, the spare tires in the same place. The handle to get into the back's the same place. Same layout. Tail lights are basically in the same place. Same layout. And fender flares. Spare tire on the back. Like, I mean, the Jeep hasn't really had any direct competition forever, so it kind of makes sense. But still, it's like, you know have some originality but I mean I guess Ford also is the company that made it Ford Colorado when they made the Ranger it's like oh look the exact same truck as the Colorado I feel like such a dumbass right now I've been playing Hogwarts Legacy for what like two months now obviously not consistently but like two months and I just figured out you can fucking aim like when you cast a spell. Like I'm doing um a depulso room or whatever it's called. And I just realized you can aim when you're doing Accio. I feel stupid. So I went from the pretty miserable drive this morning to not taking the cruise off 80 the entire way. I mean, I'm, you know, if there's something weird with traffic on Elk Park, but clearly, like, looking ahead, I'm not going to be doing it because of weather. I didn't think it could get worse, but our alley got worse. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends, and we'll see you in the next one.